Hey guys, this is Vanessa Gomez, and I know it's been so long since I last posted, but I'm so happy to be back on YouTube, and today I am going to share to y'all how to make a carrot cake. Now, this carrot cake is going to make two loaves of bread. So first, you're going to need one pound of carrots, and I peeled them off and I shredded them. Next, you're going to use all-purpose flour, and I put two cups and a half of flour, and I'm just using a Swifter right now. Okay, so next I'm going to add the other dry ingredients, and first I'm going to put in the ground cloves, and that's going to be one eighth teaspoon. Then I'm going to add in the baking soda, and that's going to be one teaspoon, and the baking powder, that's going to be one and one fourth teaspoon. Next, I'm going to add the cinnamon, and that's going to be one and one fourth teaspoon, and it's going to be ground cinnamon. Next will be the ground um, nutmeg, and that's going to be half a teaspoon. You're going to next add in salt, and that's going to be half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so you're going to get another bowl, and you're going to want to add your eggs. You're going to need four large eggs. Then you're going to need white sugar and you're going to use one and half a cup of white sugar then you're going to put in dark brown sugar and that's half a cup and then you're just going to want to mix that up all really good where there's no clumps of the sugar because the brown sugar was a little bit clumpy so I had to mix it really well just poured everything of the liquid into the flour you can also section it up like little by little but it's fine either way and you're just going to want to mix everything really well so there won't be no clumps or anything like that while I'm mixing I'm going to add one and half a cup of vegetable oil Okay, so I'm done mixing. Next, I'm going to put my shredded carrots into the mixture. Now, I'm just going to keep on mixing it until all the carrot pieces are well into the batter. You're then going to use the loaves of um, bread plates. And I just got this at Walmart. It comes in two packs and 
I put butter all over the foil and then I put in the mixture of the batter. Now you can put however much batter into the loaf and I put it where they're both equaled together and this is how they came out. So I needed to just cut them from the top so they can be even. So I had my oven at 350 and next while that's baking I'm going to start making the frosting. So you're going to need butter, um, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and cream cheese. This is going to be a cream cheese frosting. Okay, into a bowl you're going to want to put the cream cheese first and it's the 8 ounce cream cheese and then you're going to put 4 cups of powdered sugar. Then I just put two big spoons of butter and it has to be room temperature the butter it can't be really cold i just added a couple of drops of vanilla extract and then you're just going to want to mix all that up really good so while the loaves of breads are inside the oven they're going to be in there for about an hour and you're just going to want to keep on checking in the middle with a, a little toothpick to see if it's ready or not and the whole prep time while I was mixing the mixtures it took me about 30 minutes once the loaves of breads are cooled down you're going to want to put the cream cheese on top and you can decorate it however you want to I just decorated as little carrots on top and this is how it came out mm -hmm. 